Hey, what's up and welcome back to another exciting episode of Planet Zoo. I am so glad you are here. I am definitely pumped about today's episode. I have packed my bags, I've gathered up my passport, and I'm ready to head off to see what adventure we can get into today. If you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe and leave an emoji of your favorite primate animal down in the comment section for the sake of engagement. Without further ado, let's hop in. The Ape Apprenticeship. I love the play on words. Okay, so this looks amazing. Let's go ahead and hop right into this. Start new. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. The zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. This is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. Well, let's go ahead and zoom down in here and take a look at this enclosure. Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. All right, the orangutan already. Be right over here. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> when you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> they're quite the characters. Oh, look at the little baby ones. All right, but we do have to go over and look at the bonobos now and get way above the tree so that we can see where we're going. And we're going to be right in this one. Yeah. It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. So we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Great, now let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Good. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That way, the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Nicely done. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. This is what I was talking about in the last episode. They hadn't told us about the mechanics yet. But the mechanics do. They do a whole lot for the zoo. They will take care of your barriers. They will take care of any of the generators or water pipes or anything like that that is around the area. And we're just going to drop them from a height of about... 200 feet. Gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> and once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. But I wanted to take a look at the bonobos. This is George. He's a young adult, 12.4 years old. All right, let's go ahead and go build that research facility. And apparently we're going to go right over here to where it's glowing blue. And they've already got the shell in place. I that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. Right. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vet something to do in there. So let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemurs habitat. Let's head over there and add some so our guests can learn all about their furry little delights. And that's something that's very important in your zoo is making sure that you actually have the education and speakers up. If you've played the game for any amount of time, you know that because your zoo is inspected uh, pretty regularly, as a matter of fact. And that's one thing that you're graded on is the fact of education. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. I'm going to say we'll put down the first one right in this area, right over here. And then we'll put the second one maybe right over here in this space that they're not using. That's okay. Y'all just walk right through that. Thank you for the donos. Okay. Now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. 
speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals. I think we could put these up here. Maybe I usually try to hide them. I don't like them to be noticeable by the guests. And we'll put the second one up here. Let's see if that works. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. And ring-tailed lemur for the first one. And ring-tailed lemur for the second. Ooh. It looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. Well, that was money quick. Vets will continue to research an animal, even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Oh, look at the little one. Next, click on the terrain tab. Not quite yet. We're looking at the little one. Look at it. I love that. Terrain tab. There we go. Now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. And we're just going to use the blueprint for now. Once we do our own zoo, we will build our own. But for now, I'm just going to use the blueprint and we're going to press and hold shift. Be able to sink that into the ground a little bit. Make it look like it's actually in the ground. And then you can click in place. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities, releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. All right, so now we're going to the orangutans, which I think we were there just earlier. Let's go back over here. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. We already found him. Hello. Talk, lady. We found him. Okay, so we'll just release him to the wild. She's not going to say anything. Let's just go ahead. All right, so this shows you if you're going to release an animal to the wild, you get this little pop-up. It's just basically letting you know you cannot undo this action. So it's showing the remaining lifespan, the fertility, age, and conservation status. And then you can press release, and we will get 1,171 conservation credits. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. All right, so we're going to go learn about exhibit animals now versus habitat animals. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a Gila monster? Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the Gila monster to the exhibit. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. I think we're going to give it all three of the hiding places and then we'll click on climate and we'll just go ahead and get the correct temperature and humidity dialed in for our Gila monster. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. I think we'll go with the three dimensional facade on window number four because it backs up to the other exhibit and doesn't block guest view for any of that. So we'll just say okay to that. And now she wants us to get an education board again. And I know they have these little ones. I like these little ones and just squeeze past the guests and try to get the education board in here. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right, now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. Go on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Very cool. We're going to be left to our own devices now to go ahead and start doing whatever we want to do. That is amazing. So it looks like this area is pretty well already set up for us. This would be the most logical location. And you actually start a new build and it looks like we've completed some more vet research on our ring delt lemur so we're gonna continue to allow that to go and i'm just taking a look through here to actually see which animal 
should we be adding? We could do the Western Chimpanzee. I feel like that would be a good addition to the zoo. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Zoopedia and see what they would need. Okay, so we know that they're going to need 780 meters squared of land requirement with at least a grade 3 climb proof fence that is 16.6 .6 feet high. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do as far as that is concerned. So I'm thinking this area right here would be a great area. Maybe we could do a little bit of path work, bring our paths out. This could be a viewpoint for our chimpanzees, but also this is our staff path so it can come out right in this area or a door opening and maybe we can allow some ground level viewing, maybe right over here for our guest as well. Keep in mind, I am just getting back into playing this, so it's it's been a little while. I've been on a bit of a hiatus from uh, Planet Zoo, so we will uh, we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, and we are back after what was way, way too long, but this is what I ended up coming up with. First of all, I will say that this right here is blueprint, and then this right here is also blueprint. However, this portion was all created by me. Of course, that's blueprint, blueprint, blueprint back there. And that's just really to fill the space. But I took some inspiration from another feature that they had in the zoo already. And I wanted that to really be front and center of the guests. So the guests can come up, obviously come up right through here. And they can stand right here and look. Or they can actually walk all the way around and see our western chimpanzees from any side. Now, I also put in a couple of, what are these things called? Solar panels. There we go. A couple of solar panels because this area was in desperate need of some power. And I wanted to utilize kind of a, the same thing that they had going on, the same theme that they had going on in the zoo already. So I didn't want to really change the theme up too much. I really liked what they had going on. So anyway, this is what I came up with. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section what you think. And again, it took way, way, way too long to do this. So now we are going to go ahead and the game has been paused for all this time. We're going to go ahead and unpause the game and we'll go into animal trading and Western chimpanzee. We're going to see if we can adopt any of these guys. There is one in animal trading. Let's take a look at her. Let's take a look at her. So her size is not great. Longevity still of 75, fertility of 83, and immunity of 83. So she's not horrible. So I am thinking about going ahead and snatching her up just because she is silver in her appeal. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab her and we will adopt her for 931 conservation credits so we will go ahead and send her in here and that way i can really start looking at some other things while that's going on so we can start doing some decoration with some trees kind of get these areas that don't have a whole lot going on looking a bit better so we're just going to go ahead and speed the game up and hopefully our one western chimpanzee will be here very soon and here she is now folks our western chimpanzee and there she is so we can go ahead and take a look at everything that she wants enrichment items are only partially covering the animal's needs. Yeah, I really didn't put any toy enrichment in here as of yet. Well, I say that, but I mean, I guess that would be food enrichment. Let's take a look at her again now that she's had the opportunity to really see her area. How's she feeling about it? Toy enrichment. She still wants more. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and give her some toy enrichment. She should have enough enrichment, I would think, but he says she doesn't. Oh, and she has just disappeared for whatever reason. All right, but she is back. Toy enrichment, 50%, only partially covering animals' needs. That is very strange. With all the toy enrichment that is in here, I would have thought that she would be absolutely thrilled to be here. What is going on with her? Why does she keep getting transported back? There are parts of this that are marked as non-climbable, but there are also parts that I could not mark as non-climbable. So it may think that she's able to get out. Let's see. We may need to raise the fence up just a bit more. I'm just going to watch her here for a second, see what she's doing. But as you can see here, she has way more space than what she really needs. I don't know why that just changed. She also has way more climbable space than what she needs. Hard shelter, she's happy terrain, she's happy. There is no water to speak of in the area, so she's happy with that. She's not extremely happy with that tree, but we're gonna leave the tree just because uh, I put in a lot of work in that tree, Mom. Oh, where is she going? She seems to be having a good time. If she makes a leap towards that fence and then gets boxed, we will know that that is what's going on, that it thinks that she is able to get out, so. But yeah, while this is going on, I'm gonna just go ahead and do a little bit of decoration. Really try to liven up the area. Again, she got boxed and I just do not understand that. All right, but as you can see, our guests are actually going ahead and starting to line up and looking around so i think i've got her area okay she should be a bit more happy she's still not great with toy enrichment and i do not understand she's got the keyboard that she's currently making a lot of racket with now this says it's inaccessible why is it inaccessible 
Let's move that over here. Is this accessible? Let's make sure that everything is accessible. Oh, maybe all that is food enrichment and I haven't really given her any actual toy enrichment. Let's do that. So she does have the piano. That is a toy. I am a fool. That is what it is. I am a fool. So we will give her some more toys. Maybe she will be much happier now. We still do not have another one. We're just going to have to wait until we get an additional Western chimpanzee. I'd like for her to have a male friend. But while we're waiting to do that, we can go ahead and start putting up some education boards. So we're going to go ahead and select one education board. We're going to put it off to the side just over here. One right there and an additional education board I don't really want to put it right where anyone is standing or where it's gonna obstruct a, a good view of our Western chimpanzee maybe one here and then one just across the other side oh my goodness the amount of people over here maybe right here I feel like that'll be a good enough distance when you go ahead and set them to our Western chimpanzee start getting these folks educated and then we will go back in with our speakers and put them up here one there one over there and one right up here of course i missed with that one and it is in her habitat so let's try that again right yeah hello let's try this one more again i do know that we can kind of put it on top of the tv it looks goofy but we can leave it there for now and then we had the one oh apparently i missed with all of them wonderful get out of that view and come over here and just under the tv western chimpanzee and where did that other one go there it is right there you know that's not a horrible place for that actually we'll just go ahead and turn it on right there and now the next thing that we can do is we can go back into here and we need to get us some donation bins facilities i believe that's where that is donation box we'll put one right there we'll put one right down here next to the other information station and we'll put one right in here that way she can start helping us make a little bit of money all right and congratulations you have unlocked research level or ring-tailed lemur once again that is wonderful that has just been running the whole time so we do need to go ahead and start research on our new western chimpanzee so i think we'll just go ahead and grab caleb millard and have caleb research in our western chimpanzee since we just got them. and i'm gonna go back into animal trading again western chimpanzees we have two more finally but there are two more females would really like to have a male now what is their group size where is our western chimpanzee there she is yeah we know that she needs a mate and we're going to definitely do that it's just gonna apparently take some time so i will go ahead and speed this up a bit and i will be back with you when we find her a mate okay and when we started that i believe it was january so <laughs> look we are now in may so we went from january to may now this young man is not the best but he is the first one i've seen we're going to uh, go ahead and adopt him for some additional conservation credits and we will send him into the zoo as, or into the enclosure as well and there's another female in there we are not crazy about having another female we're just going to wait for our male to come in here and we'll go ahead and speed that up it is raining today as you can see right here and it is 26 degrees celsius now she could go into any of these locations where she does have cover but apparently she's just kind of hang out in the rain she apparently does not mind the rain all right where's our male he should be here momentarily and there he is right there folks asani i believe is his name and everything seems to be happy with him go ahead and check their social group make sure social group is okay you few adults i'm gonna throw down a pause real quick go up to the Zoopedia page and check and see how many of them do they want. Okay, so group size including juveniles is five to 15, up to 10 males and up to 10 females. Male bachelor group five to 10 and a female bachelor five to 15. So we can definitely go ahead and grab some additional females and throw in here. Longevity, not the best in 350 conservation credits. We do have over 2000 of them. However, it is just not the best. Let's wait and see what else we get on this very dreary day okay and i was able to find us an additional male so now we have two males one female so the social group is getting better we can go back into animal trading or refresh our list once again for western chimpanzees nothing still nothing so they're still going to be on the struggle bus a little bit i am working on a new exhibit right over here so while we are waiting i'll just go ahead and grab this dude to get up Want it to be pretty much on the same level. That is definitely not on the same level. Sometimes you just 
have to take what you can get and let good enough be good enough. In the words of uh, another YouTuber, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. So I want to see if I can snap to the grid at this point right here and actually have it gridded coming out. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. So if we can come out a couple of times like that there and we will take this and move it out of the way for now. Yeah, it can float. I'm perfectly okay with it floating for now because what I want to do is I want to make like another exhibit area right over here. Guests in this game for some reason are very, very drawn to whatever is the newest thing in the park. So if that would be the Western chimpanzees, they would be drawn to this area of the park as well. So this is definitely not the vibes I was going for. I will definitely have to do a little something with that. Can't just have things randomly out here in space floating. But for now, because I'm still hanging out over here next to our, whoa, chimpanzees are off the chart. Go ahead and grab this dude because not many of ours have been that great. So let's go ahead and deliver this guy. Let's see. We have another one of our orangutans that we can go ahead and send back into the wild release as it were so we have diala oh yes we can definitely go ahead and release her into the wild and so we will go ahead and release her she is 13.9 years old we will send her out wonderful so that takes care of that now we do have a few more conservation credits now so we can come back over here and continue to work how many chimpanzees do we have in this enclosure now i know we have a lot of males yeah we've got three males in here currently one two three now i know we had a female in here let me see if i can pause and figure out where she may have ran off to okay maybe i have completely lost my mind apparently the one i was calling a female is definitely a male so if we go ahead and go back into animal trading we can definitely grab one more male the problem is there won't be any mating so i mean we can go ahead and ooh, he is not that great looking Neither is he. I do worry though if there would be one female that they would start to fight. So let's just allow the game to run for a little bit longer and wait and see if we get another male. Now while that's going on, we can trade for some exhibit animals. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick. What do we not have in the zoo? That is the question. We have currently one gila monster, one giant burrowing cockroach, and one lesser antillean iguana. So as long as we don't repeat those, I am good with that. So we can get a giant tiger land snail. Those things are pretty cool. And only 36 we'll go ahead and send it right in here we can adjust its window i think it's going to be number two on this one yeah number two we'll give it a 3d facade we'll go ahead and give it some hiding places and we'll go ahead and start adjusting the humidity and the temperature for our snail right there hanging out on the glass this way with the temperature just a little bit this way with the humidity just a little bit try to get it perfectly in line nope 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 too much sorry about that there we go that's pretty close you can't look at the zoopedia to get it exact but sometimes i just like to play with it so we have that now and we can go ahead and grab one of our education boards and we'll slap that bad boy down right there and educate them about the giant tiger land snail and don't know bins everywhere so the speakers on that side the speaker can be on this side and should not interfere we'll put it right about there and set it to also our giant tiger land snail and once again it is raining its tail off all right animal trading do we have any more western chimpanzees we're looking for one decent male can we get one nothing as of right now so we are in june of year five and if we click right here we can see our objectives what we need to do to actually complete everything out we still need to have 12 species we have we are at 11 of 12 so i'm thinking about doing one more exhibit animal uh, let's go ahead and and assign an animal to one of these. Let's assign it to the middle one for now. Request an exhibit animal. We don't have any, so we're gonna have to go back into trading and take a look in the market and see what we have. Do we have a Goliath frog? Because if not, a Goliath frog would be really cool. We do not. Let's take that dude. We'll adopt him for 44 conservation credits and we'll put him- Hi, my, you have been busy, haven't you? Hi, welcome back. Ended. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. I mean, did I need to try and bankrupt us in the process? I, I definitely could. Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. A wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and 
You've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. We're just gonna go ahead and get this set up right here for the education and all that for our Goliath tree frog that we just got. And they can deal with the rest. We're not gonna worry with that today because we are pretty much done here. We still need to try and get that fifth chimpanzee if we can that western chimpanzee so i'm gonna let this run until we can get that fifth western chimpanzee all right and finally almost a year later we have one additional male he's not the best male but we will go ahead and snatch him up and put him in here it is taking a long time to get this completed today but i have had a ton of fun doing this one i hope you have enjoyed this episode of planet zoo with me as much as i've enjoyed bringing it to you if you enjoyed the content please remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel it really does help out small creators like myself and i really do appreciate you spending your time with me today playing planet zoo i hope you have a great day and as always i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching